So on the residential roofing side of things, most of the work that we do is re-roofing. So it all starts off when our estimator, our consultant goes out to the job. One of the first things he looks at is the roof itself, um, takes a look at the pitch, takes a look at the height, and then he, we will meet with the customer, kind of go over what they're wanting to do. And so our, our, our estimator will put that proposal together. As part of that proposal, he takes into account the time it's gonna to take to set up the safety lines, set up fall protection, tie off points, whether we need to set up protection for the public. You know, if it's a, you know, if it's a residential apartment complex, something like that, and you've got multiple tenants, then we will set up safety perimeters for the ground so that the public can't walk into those areas where debris is getting thrown. But then most importantly is when we set up for the crew, when the, when the crew goes up on the roof and they set up their fall protection, uh, putting those tie off points, so that's all part of that estimating process that the, that the estimator goes through. Um, and then when we get to the job, to start the job, we will go over that same review again uh, with the crew to make sure they know this is where we want the tie-off points, this is where you need to be um, a little bit more careful with the public. This is the customer's driveway. Um, we wanna make sure their cars get pulled out so that we don't have any chance of hitting anything there. Um, and then setting up um, with the crew and the foreman has the overall decision, if there's something that the estimator might have missed, but we need to have it out there for, for fall protection, then the foreman gets that taken care of. The other aspect that we work with when it comes to general contractors with new construction are the pre-task safety plans that most general contractors require as part of their documentation. So before we start the job, we fill out what our safety plans are and then the general contractor has a copy of that in his files. In that pre-task safety plan included typically is the fall protection methods that we're gonna be using. They also review extension cords, power tools, anything that gets plugged in, having a, a weekly check of those. Um, and so the pre-task plan, it can include as much as even parking, where you're gonna park your vehicles. Um, pre-task plans typically include your, your HASCOM your data sheets for the, the materials that you're gonna have on the roof, where that folder is gonna be located at or where that information is gonna be located. So that is all part of that pre-task safety plan.